Hello everybody, this is Kathy, and welcome to Punched Out Thursday. I went ahead and did some base pages, and I just more or less got them ready so that I can scrap. These are the photos I'll be doing, and they are of Briley and Papa. And my husband put a Kleenex box on top of his head. And Briley was just giggling and laughing. It was so cute. So this week I'll be using my love punch. And I'm going to punch out five of them and put line them up along this line here. And um, yeah, I really, I wanted to bring in the green out of those pretty butterflies. And when you're making base pages and save them for a layout, this really helped me out. I had to work with what I did, but I really didn't want to cover up those butterflies on that three by, let me see. Um, I'm not for sure. Let me measure real quick. Um, they are three and a half. The, the butterfly paper is three and a half by six and a half. And the big centerpiece is six by 11. And the strips are just um, the strips out of a project pad and it had a hole in the middle. So I just shortened them. And then I cut banners in them. And then I outlined my paper. So I already cut my mounting paper for behind the photos. And I'm just, I stapled them together. And now I am just kind of zigzagging the photos. Trying not to cover up the butterflies. So then um, I took the flourish uh, chipboard, I peeled off all the chipboard off of my 12 by 12 chipboard because it was so bulky and I just didn't want, since I'm layering all kinds of things, I didn't want the thickness on my page. So they're real easy to rub off. I used several pieces to build a cluster on the right. And now I'm going to, there was a chipboard butterfly that matches the paper. And this paper is from the Sunny Days collection from uh, Maggie Holmes. So now I'm going to do my title. I am going to spell out Silly Papa. And I am making the T into an L. And I'm just trimming off the other side. And then I'm using an X for the Y, and I'm going to trim that off. Now the A's were a little bit trickier. Um, I used a little piece of, I think it was an I, and I trimmed it. I'm using V's upside down. So I just kind of trimmed a little piece and stuck it up in the middle for the A's. After I get that glued down, I get out some Sparkle City enamel dots. But it's going to be a little bit before I, I have to glue those little pieces in. And they're really little and they're hard to grab hold of. I hope you all have been enjoying my Punched Out Thursday series. And... Um, and I hope you like my videos and leave me a comment. I sit here most of the day and I read all your comments. And I love that you comment. So see that is taking me just a little bit to get those little things in. But I used up my alphas. And these are Maggie Home Thickers. So now I'm looking for some enamel dots. I oh I wanted to use this little label sticker on my last video, and it was laying on my desk, so I went ahead and used that. 
I'm going through the chipboard and the ephemera and seeing if I need anything else. And now is the enamel dots and this is this will be the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for coming to watch my videos and I will see you next week. I will have close-ups at the end. Bye-bye.